Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Market Analyst David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 15th of, of November and the time is coming up to 12.15pm UK time. And the chart of the week this week is going to be the IBEX 35, or as we call it here at CMC Markets, the Spain 35. Uh, looking at the chart here, we can see that the Spain 35 was in a fairly clear and, uh, and uh, obvious downward trend since May. It was in a quite an obvious downward channel uh, for, for several months uh, over the summer period. And even on the back of the Catalonian independence referendum on the 1st of October, the market then pushed down here to a seven-month low at 9,866. When a bit of stability was, was, was restored to Spanish and Catalonian politics, we did see the market push higher and it managed to actually briefly snap out of the downward channel that it, has been, that, that it was in, in in late October. But, then, but, but the gains were short-lived and the market began to turn over on itself. And then the global sell-off in equities that originated in Japan last Thursday has all brought the Spanish market under pressure yet again. And as you can see here now, the Spanish market is currently trading at 9,940. So it's not too far away as being eyeing up the October low of 9,866. Now, turning our attention down here to the MACD histogram, the MACD indicator, we can see when, this, when the IBEX 35 was coming off and it started to turn over on itself, we saw a fairly distinct decline in positive momentum. So the bulls were running out of steam, the market started to move lower. Then we actually see uh, uh, on the histogram, the indicator actually swung to the, to the negative side and it's actually been steadily increasing since. So the increase in negative momentum confirms the downward move in the actual underlying market itself. So what this tells us is that the sellers are now are, are, are in control of momentum and the rate of selling pressure is actually increasing. And because of that, we can now, we, we're, we're seeing no signs of this sell-off. Uh, letting up. So therefore, we could see further declines on the IBEX 35. Uh, we are eyeing up the October low of 9,866. And should we move south of that, the next potential level of support may come into play at the February high, this level here, which comes into play at 9,637. And then if south of that, the next big potential level of support may come into play at the February low of 9,235. Now that we've discussed moves, potential moves to the downside, let's look at the potential moves to the upside should the market bounce back from these levels. We could potentially encounter some resistance in around this region here at 10,100. Notice how 10,100 acted as support in early October and just north of 10,100 acted as support where the market was, was firming up. Should we move north and see a break of 10,100, the next potential level for resistance may come into play at the 50-day moving average of 10,255. 10, Notice how the market has, has a previous experience of both acting as support and resistance at the 50-day moving average. It acted as support in early November when the market was coming off and acted quite a bit on a few occasions as resistance when the market was trying to push higher in September and also October. Another level, metric, to, another level to keep an eye out for is going to be 10,375. This, this, this price is actually in around for both the 100-day moving average and the 200-day moving average uh, come into play. The 100-day moving average also has a bit of experience recently of acting as support when the market was pushing higher and resistance when the market was moving to the downside. Same here in October. So these are potential levels to keep an eye out for to the upside should the Spanish market push higher. Now, if you are going to trade the Spain 35 or the IBEX 35, please bear in mind tomorrow we have Eurozone CPI numbers out and that could potentially add some volatility to the market. That's all, 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 all for me this week. Thank you, thank you for listening and please tune in next week.